This is John Krasinski, Pittsburgh Soccer Now. Uh, we are just moving straight forward into the playoffs. It's an exciting time of the year, the, the WPIL high school playoffs. Um, with me today is Sam Bailey Hawken. Sam, um, North Hills Girls Soccer. It's been more than five years, I guess five years since North Hills made the playoffs. And to see that news, um, it was bittersweet, absolutely bittersweet to see that North Hills Girls make the playoffs in 4A, which is always really difficult. Sam, your first year on as the head coach of North Hills, obviously not under the uh, circumstances you, you know, were hoping to as Rick Cabert, uh, your good friend and, uh, you know, was the previous head coach at North Hills uh, and very, very involved in North Hills community, uh, passed away unexpectedly this summer. Um, Sam, just, I'm, I'm sure you've, you've been feeling a lot of emotions of late. Um, what's it, what's it been like for you? Yeah. So on a personal uh, stance, it's, it's been hard, uh, especially taking the field, um, knowing that he was coaching there for a year before me, but it's, it was even harder seeing the players come back. Um, some of them being with him since he was a kid at the club and, you know, the fact that they got through that, and I think that's what started the season. And I think that's why it makes it so special we made playoffs, not only because this is the first time that any of the players on the team has made playoffs, but after the year they've had, it just shows how good Coach Rick was. And he built that foundation of this organization that I can come in and it was a lot easier. It was a lot easier the coaching point because there was no turmoil. There was no nothing from last season. It came as a family. And I just, I just helped out. It's, it's Coach Rick's team, and I've said this all year. And, you know, the guy he was, he built he built the foundation, and I just opened the door. That was it. So, and you were around to help out a little bit. That team last year, towards the end of the season, did not make the playoffs, but did come on strong. I believe they won their last four matches. Um, you know, that I'm sure there was some positive momentum on the field that really helped, and there was a certain level of camaraderie and players coming back and that sort of thing. So I'm sure that, and Rick had obviously, like you said, planted the foundation to, to what this team is, was this season as well. Yeah, it was, um, it was an up and down season last year. Um, had some quality, talented players, but near the back end, it, it started to click. It, the, like you said, four games, beating Fox Shack won our last game. Um, that was an amazing way to finish the season. And with a good core of uh, freshmen coming in, it was, it was good. And obviously I like, had the benefit of that, but the momentum from last season on the field definitely carried on to, for this season. Um, it's been a young core. Unfortunately, this year we've had some injuries uh, to our key players, but just showing that the freshmen coming up they're not freshmen. They're, they're soccer players for North Hills High School. Um, it's something that I promote a lot. It doesn't matter what your age is or your experience. You, you play the jersey, you play for the jersey. Um, and that also helps, again, with Coach Rick being involved with the middle school and the and working with everyone in the North Hills Soccer Club. So. Yeah, and I, I, there's a few programs out there. I know that, that, that the youth programs all the way through to the high school where some of the coaches are really involved and some aren't, some aren't at all. But it, one of those areas I noticed that is North Hills. Um, West Allegheny was a good example of that. Um, at least I know on the boys side. Um, yeah, I mean, in North Hills community itself, a tough place to recruit soccer when you've got some really great athletes that are playing like football, volleyball, you know, some of those type of things. And especially North Hills, it just seems like Penn. I just we just talked to the Penn Hills coach, um, and he he said the same thing in terms of the boys. Um, just what's that like to try to get those athletes and try to get you know build a roster? I know it's relatively newer for you, but just just in terms of building that roster from the community program on up. Yeah, so it would be new. This is the first high school job I've had. Um, right. And but what I see from this year was it was a unit. It, it did start at the, the youth club um, with some great people there. 
that help out. Um, and it's a good pyramid. It's the fundamentals at the bottom and they look after the young kids and they produce talent as well as the enjoyment and the safe environment. And then they move up to the middle school and the middle school are still competing at a hard league and they are playing well. And it's nice to see siblings. We have a couple of siblings coming up next year from the players that are playing Barcy and JV. So it's nice to keep it in the family. Um, and then you come up to the high school and then that's, you know, that's the top of the pyramid before you start your new journey towards college and further on. Um, being new to the, oh, to America, especially Western Pennsylvania, I know that football is a big thing, you know, Steelers and, and stuff like that. So it is difficult, but I think times are changing, especially on the female side, where soccer is becoming this number one sport for these young athletes because it does bring, you know, yes, you can see individual goal growth and development, but when you put them in a team, when you get 11 players on the field, that's what you see. And I think soccer is a great way of doing that for an individual as well as a team and as a community. Um, and to start the season, we have soccer fest um, from the boys' side as well. The whole of North Hills, youth to middle school to high school, all came to, to the stadium before the season and played games throughout the day. I think it was like 11 hours I was there. And that kickstart the season. It shows the players coming up and it also shows the varsity players leaving, like some of the seniors coming and helping you under eights and under nines. And it's a good community. Um, and I have to give a lot of credit to, to RJ Franz, who is, um, well, he's now my head booster, but he does a lot with the community as well as his daughter being in the high school and mid, one in the middle school and one coming up as well. Those sort of people make a difference. It's those people in the community that makes me in high school a lot easier. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a definitely a community that are together, but also I'm changing, trying to change where high school is, you know, we can, we can make it, we can, we can compete. And it's the hardest division I feel in Whitfields. And, and I think times are changing and this is a great start to, to take North Hills. I, I, I couldn't agree more that you're in such a challenging competitive section. And, you know, I, I really appreciate the, the, your, you know, how you answered that, too, in terms of the community and this, you know, it, especially when you get thrown into a job like that and just to have people there and supporting you um, and, and the players, obviously. And, and that, that's, that really does make a difference. And um, no, I think it's, it's really good to hear. And I, I think that I think it's very good to see when programs like North Hills, which, you know, in boys and girls, it's been a struggle to kind of break through the top four in that section to be able to get through and uh, earn a playoff spot. So obviously, speaking of that section, I mean, before we get into your, you know, your team a little bit more in the playoffs, just your thoughts on some of the teams up in, up in front of you, you've seen North Allegheny twice, obviously Seneca's there, Butler's, North Allegheny Butler were the finalists last year. So just, just, Curious of your in, impressions of some of the teams uh, above you in, in your section. Yeah, so um, when I first moved there, all you hear is North Allegheny, the University of North Allegheny. The U. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it reminds me of the FA Cup back in England when you play in a League Two versus. Um, at the start of the year, we had 32 players and five players were injured coming in. So, you know, we leave with 27 players and we're going to North Allegheny with them with 45 and that's fine that's not a negative thing and i'm not trying to make an excuse fantastic organization chuck kelly has done very well um but that's the difference is north hills have been seen as just you know fighting for the second bottom or or stuff and and we change that we're going to fight for that fourth place and then in future third and second and first um having been my only year so far at high school seeing how these coaches with Butler, with uh, Steve, you know, how, how well he's done it there and Seneca being very organized. Um, it's nice and it's good. I feel, I feel it's good that some of these freshmen coming up and like, hey, you're going to go and play. Well, I have a freshman at center back. Hey, you're going to play North Valley Gaming where Lucia Wells has scored 25 goals already this season. 
you're going to have the defender. That, that's throwing, that's throwing someone in the deep end. But you start it now. And the expectation is, you know, we might struggle, but let's change that. And it's something that I promote to the girls is your ceiling is just the floor to your next level. So when you think you've done it, then you just move up a level. And then you compete at a higher level. And we go up and up and up. Um, but this season is definitely difficult um, playing against these, these powerhouses. But it's also been a joy to watch um, these young athletes. And, you know, some of them are going to go on to bigger and better things. And I wish them all the best to every single one. And so, yeah, I mean, it's you're working, you're a teacher, you're a mentor, you're, you know, you're helping develop life skills. Sometimes it, it does go beyond the soccer field for sure. Um, but yeah, it, let, let's kind of focus on the, the playoffs, of course. Um, they'll, it, I'm sure all the girls are excited because this is a five years. So if, if there's all the seniors have never tasted, a, you know, the playoffs. So I'm sure that this week is an exciting week for them. And I think it's a build, you're building up to Monday evening, I believe, um, at Norwin. So Norwin has been a perennial team at the top of this, uh, you know, at the top of this uh, classification for many years. Um, I don't know, maybe get them at the right time. You know, it just uh, it would be interesting to see how that matchup goes. But what are your thoughts about your, your girls and their preparation for for this match on Monday? Um, well, ever since we found out, ever since we found out about playoffs, we've been training and working tactically to, to defend and how we can work around um, the team Norwin. Um, we were very fortunate enough to have a little scrimmage last night at Barca's Mars um, due to close friends and, and, and organizations before uh, the web. Yeah, but that was a good way to, to go into this, um, understanding how a team can play fluently, um, counter-attacking, direct play, crossing, hand, you know. So everything we did, we, we, we are training for. Um, these girls, obviously, absolutely excited to be in playoffs, but also understands the mountain they have to climb. But the highest mountain has the best views. And it's, it's 80 minutes, 11 v 11. You know, we're going as the underdogs and there's nothing better than a good underdog movie and a story. Like we could be the Leicester of this, this season. Um, we're not going in knowing that we're going to lose. We're going in knowing that this could be our last game or it's just the next step to the next round. We're not, we're not going to, you know, go in soft. We're not going to go in underprepared. We're going to be in ready uh, from the first whistle to the last. And these girls are knowing them for, for a good couple of months, they're going to give everything. And if we go through, rightly so, we deserve it. But if we don't, then we deserve to be in that spot because what they've given on and off the field has been amazing. So, you know, all I got to say is them making playoffs is fantastic. But as a personal thing, I think it's just phenomenal seeing these girls, how excited they are to be here. And they know they can, they can do it. You know, it's, it just, like I said, 80 minutes. That's all that's in front of them the next round. Yeah, and I think some of the big wins for, for you this year obviously came. You had to, you, Shaler is over, you had to beat Shaler and uh, some battles with Pine Richland as well, um, which is, you know, they've been a perennial playoff team as well, Pine Richland. So I'm sure, it, and obviously playing against everybody in your section, you, you're pretty battle tested. If, yeah. My goalkeeper's definitely had some experience and some action this season. Um, and what I have to say as well is the goals that we've conceded haven't been like um, walk-ins. They haven't been a mistake. They've been some high-quality goals. And you have to beat us to, to beat We would not lose by beating ourselves. You have to beat North Hills. And, you know, I have some phenomenal players Um and my captain, you know, Maria Vega, who is an absolute stud, uh, she controls that line really well. Yeah. It, you know, it's, it's fluid. It's, she moves, they move. You know, it's, it's, it's fun to watch. And having Cam back there in goal, it's such a structure, structure organization. It's, it's, 
it's good to see, especially being a goalkeeper, it's nice to have a back line and a keeper that know what they're doing at a high level. Um, playing against Pine, beating them at home, um, and then unfortunately losing to them away shows that we can compete when when the back's against the wall. We don't we don't crumble. Um, and when we played North Allegheny back at our place, we we were within the 13 seconds, the ball was in the heat their keeper's hand. We attacked and we were very close to getting that first goal. Um, so it's good to it's good to know that we can compete at the highest level and we're definitely ready for, for Nord. Yeah, you mentioned Maria. Uh, I believe she scored a goal and had an assist in the playoff clinching win, correct? Yes, I can say that, yeah. Um, that was a that was an unusual game. Um, I, I think it was the season kind of caught up to us. Um, like I said, we've had some injuries, a lot of them from our starters. And she she had to move up. She, she moved herself up because um, that's how we, we run. It's that fluency. If she goes up and someone has to cover, um, you know, the formation stays the same, but the personnel can change. It's just all fluent. And she went up and uh, I think she scored the winning and assist the, assist the first one from Chelsea Simon. Um, that was a very nice team goal. But yeah, we've, we've had a couple of um, unlucky chances in front of goal this season, but we've definitely not gone for a game that we haven't had the chances. So we, uh, we'll finish them. We'll finish them when the time's right. And when going, best thing about playoffs is we're going in with a record of three and seven. And it's not, you know, it's not the best. It's not the greatest, but we're playing against some of the best teams in Pennsylvania. Um, but the, you know, your current and past record doesn't matter in playoffs. It's just one team. So we'll just make sure we, uh, we compete. Oh, I don't doubt that. I think that North Hills girls soccer will be competing, um, giving Norwin a really tough, tough time on Monday night. And uh, after talking to you today, I'm even more convinced of that. So, um, but yeah, I, Sam, I, I can't thank you enough for your time today. Uh, I really good luck to the North Hills girls soccer this year and moving forward. And, um, you know, just, just a tribute, just hats off to you and to your program and to your girls. Everything that they've been through, I think it's just, I think somewhere Rick is smiling and he's uh, probably just, just really appreciates um, that you've kept the, you know, built upon his foundation. I appreciate that. He was definitely pushing over us in some of these games. All right, Sam. Thank you and uh, good luck on uh, Monday. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right.